Hey everyone, welcome to day 43. I've been off for a little while on uh, shooting my videos. Um, we in the Christie household got a touch of the plague, so everyone's been hacking and coughing and all sorts of sick. So day 43, we're getting back on the horse. It's uh, Sunday afternoon here. And I uh, just kind of want to give an update as to what we are, what we are working on. So um, as part of our funding process, we're going through the Innovate ND program. And so this is my start to my 15 minute pitch. This is not by any means done, um, but it's uh, kind of the, the basis uh, for it here. So um, let me swap my screens here. Actually, do is just kind of walk through the the deck as it sits. I'm not, I'm not sure if Loom's going to pick up on the presentation mode or not. So, the problem that we're trying to solve is that startup founders will build something, but the question is, does anyone care? And our value proposition is, in as little as thirty days, can we prevent someone from wasting forty thousand dollars? And the way we got to those metrics was, uh, we feel that if someone is dedicated enough, they and has access to the market. They can ask the right questions and be validating. Is there something here? Not have it built, but validate it within 30 days. And $40,000 is the average budget uh, for us to build an MVP of an app. <clears throat> so that's how we got to 30 days and $40,000. Um, currently, startups have two types of options that do it yourself through a series of books, uh, blogs, podcasts, or services that do it for for you. So approve, validate, lead, quick MVP, ask your target market, an idea check. And we feel like there's there's a f opportunity in the market to do things a little differently than the do it yourself or do it for you. Um, kind of the what we call do it with you model. Uh, what we are not is that we are not a canvas tool. We're not business planning. We are not wireframe tools. We are not presentations. But what we are is we're more of a personal trainer and not just a gym membership. And so when you come into the tool, you will take an onboarding survey for us to understand where you're at on kind of a two part, um, kind of a four quadrant uh, two access questionnaire. And it's what's your entrepreneurial aptitude? And then what's your industry experience? And so from that, you get a four quadrant high low matrix. And if they're, they're in the bottom left of those the quadrant, we help educate them on why they need to be doing things and why they're important. If they're you know more in the top right and they have access to the market and they understand this and they've been through the entrepreneurial side of things before, we can get them moving quicker. So think of you know clepping out of classes um, by t scoring high enough on a um, college entrance exam sort of a deal. The, how it works is we start with an onboarding survey that we're just talking through. We present the user with action guides of how to successfully navigate their market. We unlock opportunities within your existing market. So even if you're starting with absolutely no one that you th can think of to talk to, we'll show you how to unlock those, those connections from within your existing market. You then understand what your target market wants for you to build. And ultimately you have a decision then of, should you build the thing that your audience wants or should that not be something that you pursue? The general business model that we are seeing in the market is, uh, I took three examples that are a little bit more towards the top end of the pricing, but they're also more of a full functionality app. Uh, proved is $499 per survey. They do have a lower tier, but $499 I believe gets you 100 respondents. Um, it's a Google form style survey to where it gets sent out and then they respond and you get the results. <clears throat> Ask your target market is uh, between $80 and $150 per month on an annual plan, plus they have a series of add-ons. Validately is $500 per month that's billed yearly and they have a whole bunch of add-ons. So what I saw from Ask Your Target Market and Validately is you could spend two, three grand a month going forward um, to, to do this. And um, I, I still feel that they're not ultimately doing it right for when we're talking um, in the startup space. And so with Startup Happy, we are still testing our pricing models, but we're considering our paid tier at a $99 per month or um, somewhere in the $400 for a six month window of time or a forever 
uh, you know, validate one idea forever type of a thing. Um, we're not quite sure where we're going to end up yet, but something in that in that ballpark is is kind of the initial indicators we're seeing. We will have a freemium, free forever educational platform, and we will always have a 14 day paid trial um, to unlock all the tools. And where we're different than Ask Your Target Market Prudent Validately is that um, you will get the ability to have a startup coach right alongside you for $399 per month, um, which would replace the 99. So it's basically a $300 upcharge. And then you get access to one of the coaches on our team to help you navigate through asking the questions, uh, feeling like you're completely disconnected and that you're doing the wrong things and the world's a terrible place. Um, it, it's part uh, consultant, part therapist, um, just really helping you to keep keep moving. Um, and that's available for you as long as you as long as you need um, through the platform. Kind of our go to market plan or our, our strategy here is that um, we're we're located at the NDSU Tech Park. And so what we're looking to do is to find every university research park in the nation um, and then have hire somebody through Upwork who will help us mine that data and then work with our copywriter to start doing email sequences into the resource partners to see if we can get um, to get them on board as a resource partner or to get their, their startups um, engaged with the platform. Secondly, we're looking to do Facebook and LinkedIn ads um, against um, basically a, a free giveaway freemium piece of this. And then as we're going through our, our trial window of uh, using viral loops to be able to grow a wait list and be able to then start talking with the, the audience that we bring, bring in through some paid. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Uh, we have a, a couple of marketers that are really close to our world. Uh, we've done some work for Neil Patel, uh, Garrett Moons, uh, local to the area, and um, uh, know him and his co-founder for quite a while. The thought is that we have a podcast called From Idea to Done, and we want to start with Neil and Garrett and asking them, you guys have both built free tools to give away. We're doing that ourselves. In 2020, how would you market these opportunities and to try to get their takeaways um, from Neil and Garrett. And the hope is to be able to get some sort of a, a canned response in there is that your business is doomed to fail if you don't validate your idea and make sure there's a market for it. So we're going to try to pull out some, some pieces through that interview. From there, we can then lean on, um, you know, the people that we have shot the podcast with and then turn that back to saying, all right, Heaton Shaw is, I believe it's Neil's brother-in-law. Sujin Patel is his cousin. Um, single grain, Eric Sue, him and Neil work very closely together. Um, we don't happen to know Brian Dean, Brian Harris, uh, these two guys over here. But we're hoping that is once we get, you know, four or five interviews from kind of their peers, that we can start reaching out and say, hey, <clears throat> Hey, Brian Dean, we had Neil on the podcast. We'd love to have you on for, for seven minutes. Here's the questions we'd like to ask and see if that's an easier lift. Be able to use their, um, their profiles on our sales page and then also use that to reinforce, a hey, here's what Neil has to say about startups in 2020 and see if we can also then couple that with some Facebook ads and, and drive some more traffic. And then finally, <clears throat> excuse me, Still not quite, uh, not quite there. Um, we have some long form content that's going to be really, really in depth, like ultimate guides to um, uh, starting a SaaS startup. And <clears throat> we are currently in the process of writing those. And then we're going to use um, some tactics from Brian Dean over here to be able to get those, uh, get some backlinks into our ultimate guides. And we're going to be using that through some Upwork people as well. So really trying to drive organic, drive some paid, drive some direct outreach and some influencer marketing is, is how we're looking to uh, to take this to market. So that's that's kind of the, the pitch deck that we've been working on. Um, I'll jump over here to a couple other things that we're, <clears throat> we're considering. Um, when we were looking at uh, some of the competition, they use this service called Sint, which is a survey respondents uh, kind of database. And I don't want to use something like this for the core of the questionnaires, but if we can use something like this once you're into the, 
like feature set of like how are you solving the problem i could see some opportunities to be able to say you know pick um pick the top 10 tools that um may may make your life easier as a marketer or whatever they're they're trying to ask about um <clears throat> so we're trying to see if there's ways that we can help them grow their audience to get larger data sets and as always the the three phases that we're trying to validate through is who is the customer, what's the problem, what's the possible solution, and can you can you sell it? And <clears throat> um, along the way, what where we're at from a dev standpoint is we have a dev that has been um, our Google sign in sign up is completed, our onboarding surveys are done, and this is where we start to then lean into our onboarding and uh, to get our first five allies or first five team members into the system. And the way that we're trying to treat um, the, the list of five is basically like a cohort that you're gonna be asking the questions from. And what's, what I think's kind of smart about this angle is that even if I don't have anyone that I wanna to talk to or I don't know anybody, and I'm asking my mom, brother, sister, and aunt, um, I, I get the practice of doing an interview with them and to ask, you know, questions I might be scared to ask. And at the end of it, what, what will coach the, the entrepreneurs to be doing and the questionnaires will do this as well is who are two people that you can intro me to that are in, you know, whatever target market I'm going after that you feel have whatever problem I'm trying to solve. And so then can you get 10 people out of your first five interviews? and have a pool of people that you're then that you're then talking to um and then the, the i'm sure this we've talked through a few of these pieces before but um once you have your team of people you would then have interview templates that you would queue up <clears throat> around the three different buckets the target market problem what's the possible solution and then selling the solution you would then um, schedule an interview with Susie. Um, you would have a series of your questions that would pop up. You'd be able to then take actions on a question, um, being that it's recorded, we'll know when the question starts and ends. And what we're kind of seeing is that the questions have um, kind of yes, no trails off of them. And it's almost that if we need to ask a question, we need to be able to then be re ready for the um well no that's not a problem for me okay what's the pivot question then off of that when they say no and being able to respond to that so we're trying to figure out if it is kind of a decision decision tree that we're making or if it just is one-off questions um so what would happen is we'd start the interview we'd be talking to Susie. we could take a comment and we could vote this up or down of was there good reactions there um and where we want to flush this out to further is to be able to have five to seven actionable um pieces that, that people can fire off on of, yes, this is a pain, this is a monetary pain, this is a smiley face, a sad face. Um, and then once they complete their, their interview, we would be able to say, um, was the interview with Susie good? Uh, Do we find a future idea? Should we go find more Susie's? And then based upon, um, <clears throat> still need to create some of these screens, but based upon her results across your first five people, you know, you've got five questions, questions two and three got all the feedback. So then the system would prompt you to say, should you refine questions two and three to dig more into it? Or should you kind of get that ancillary data around two and three to keep flushing that out further? So we're back, it's day 43, it's starting to get real. Um, two developers on the project, one's been um, sick as well lately, so we're a little behind there. Um, a little behind on marketing, just a little bit behind all the way around and hoping to take um, some of this this Thanksgiving week coming up here, um, pour some more time into it if we're not um, terribly busy at, at the office, but we'll see how that goes. So that's what we've been up to, um, hoping to get back into a more regular cadence, and thanks everyone for your time.